Have you ever wondered if we're alone in the universe? Imagine civilizations far more advanced than ours, harnessing the powers of galaxies, or even the entire cosmos. This is the realm of a level 4 civilization. Let's dive in. The question of whether there are other intelligent civilizations in the universe has always intrigued humanity. Since the dawn of the 21st century, scientists have been actively exploring space, searching for signs of intelligent life. However, to date, no definitive evidence of such civilizations has been found within the cosmos. Given the vast number of stars, astronomers estimate that there are approximately 70 billion trillion star systems within the observable universe alone, the likelihood of other intelligent civilizations existing is deemed to be quite high. It seems improbable that human civilization is the only form of intelligent life. Although we have yet to discover other intelligent civilizations, the concept of categorizing the advancement of such civilizations was introduced as early as 1964. Scientists have devised a ranking system for intelligent civilizations in the universe, known as the Kardashev scale. This classification was developed by Soviet astronomer Nikolai Kardashev and is based on the amount of energy a civilization is able to utilize and control. The Kardashev model was initially proposed to categorize civilizations according to this criterion. The purpose is to explore and estimate the technology of alien civilizations. The Kardashev scale of magical ability can be roughly divided into three categories. The basic type is the first-level civilization, also known as a planetary civilization. Such a civilization can utilize and store energy from its home planet, dominating the entire world. Following this is the secondary civilization, also referred to as a stellar civilization. These super-civilizations can exploit and control their parent stars, harnessing all the emitted energy, which is not limited to that from stars. This includes the ability to control the star itself, such as building a huge structure around it, a Dyson sphere, for capturing and utilizing all the star's energy. Finally, there is the Level 3 civilization, also called a galactic civilization. They can control all the energy in the galaxy, and the technology of this civilization has a scope of activity beyond our imagination. It is no longer limited to their parent star but extends to entire galaxies, which means they can move around galaxies at will. Even though Kardashev initially only defined these three levels, later scientists continued to expand on this and proposed additional levels. A higher level of civilization, known as the Four Poles, has emerged. This four-pole civilization has nearly surpassed our comprehension of energy. According to traditional understandings, they possess the capability to control and harness the energy of the entire universe. This implies that their scientific and technical levels have attained heights beyond our imagination. For instance, they can effortlessly alter the structure of galaxies or even create and destroy them. Scientists hypothesize that the quadrupole civilization has access to even the dark matter and dark energy within the universe. It is essential to recognize that in our universe, the amount of visible matter constitutes merely a small fraction, approximately 4.9%. The remainder is composed of 26.8% dark matter and 68.3% dark energy. Mastery of this energy could potentially be powerful enough to break free from the limitations of time and space. This means they would no longer be constrained by these dimensions and would possess the ability to manipulate the flow of time and the structure of space. Such capabilities suggest that they could engage in time travel or explore parallel universes. The prospect of a level 4 civilization in the universe is unfathomably daunting. In terms of the scale of intelligent civilizations, we currently have not achieved the energy mastery and exploitation levels that human beings are capable of. We have not yet reached even the first level, and it is estimated that only about 0.73% of scientists believe that, given current development trends, humans will need at least 20 years to attain it. Reaching a first-level civilization is conceivable, and it is conservatively estimated that this milestone could be achieved within that time frame. How significant is the disparity between a level 4 civilization and humans? Incidentally, although the notion of a four-pole civilization is daunting, it remains a conjecture. After all, humans have yet to discover any other civilization's existence. If a four-pole civilization did exist in the universe, it stands to reason that we would have discovered it by now. 
This is because such a civilization, passing through dark matter and dark energy and harnessing energy in excessive amounts, would inevitably create ruins if lost. Galaxies composed of dark matter would disintegrate, which implies they would be detectable by us. However, astronomers have never observed such a galaxy, which allows for the conceptualization of a level 4 civilization. These thoughts are more akin to ideological speculation. Although, from our current standpoint, judging by the technical level required, reaching or even comprehending this civilization seems unattainable, this exploration of such thought concepts is beneficial as it prompts us to contemplate the boundaries and potential of civilization's evolution. What do you think lies beyond our galaxy? Could there be civilizations that have mastered not just their stars, but the very fabric of the universe? Share your thoughts in the comments. If you like this thought-provoking video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more daily Eureka Science Sauce. It keeps the channel creating daily videos for you. Thanks for watching.